Now, a guilty plea in a DUI crash that nearly killed a Virginia Wesleyan University professor and her husband. Uh, Robert Thompson pleaded guilty to driving drunk on Northampton Boulevard back in February. Sentencing is scheduled for April. And 10 on your side, Jason Marks continues our coverage with reaction from the victims and Thompson's attorney. Well, Kathy and Joe Jackson say they are very lucky to be alive. Today, the man who nearly killed them in a crash last February pleaded guilty to the charges. It's been less than a year since Kathy and Joe Jackson almost died in a horrific crash. Today, the man who caused it pleaded guilty. I just want the whole thing to be over and this expedites things. And uh, we want the best for him. And um, we're pleased that he realizes what he did and what happened and the consequences of it. February 7th, the Jacksons were at a stoplight on Northampton Boulevard. At the same time, police were trying to pull over Robert Thompson for speeding. That's when Thompson slammed into the Jacksons' car, severely injuring husband and wife. They both suffered broken bones and needed months to recover. I think that he's very remorseful and very upset about what happened. Thompson has been in jail ever since the crash. His blood alcohol level was 0.21, more than two and a half times the legal limit. He just wants to apologize so much to the people that he's hurt. The Jacksons have been in court for every hearing. They say they would like to talk with Thompson once this is all over. I just want to find out who he is. I mean, I don't want to go in there and yell at him or anything like that. I mean, I, why did this happen? Yeah, and, what and led it what, up what to it? What led up to this? And are, are there cracks in the system that made a tragedy like this happen? Thompson pleaded guilty to DUI and two counts of DUI maiming. His attorney says his client's son just passed away. Thompson couldn't be there for the funeral. But he did pass away and he wasn't able to see him or talk to him. So he, he's had to go through that and it's only because of his own mistake that he's in jail and had to go through that. So he totally understands that. Time is now directly staring at Thompson who could spend the next decade in a cell. At the same time, the Jacksons will continue to recover from the event that changed three lives. The body heals and I hope that Mr. Thompson heals as well. Thompson faces a maximum of 11 years in prison. He'll find out his punishment when he's sentenced April 5th. That's the latest here in Virginia Beach. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.